Chapter 1. Prelude to Conflict In the early months of 1942, the Pacific theater of World War II was in turmoil. The Japanese Imperial Army had achieved a series of stunning victories, including the capture of Singapore and the Philippines. Their rapid advance had brought them dangerously close to Australia, prompting grave concerns within the Allied ranks. In response to this looming threat, General Douglas MacArthur, the Supreme Allied Commander in the Southwest Pacific area, devised a strategy known as Operation Cartwheel. One of the critical phases of this operation was the capture of the Bunagona area in Papua New Guinea. Chapter 2. Setting the Stage The Bunagona area, nestled along the northern coast of Papua New Guinea, was strategically important for several reasons. It was located just across the Coral Sea from the Japanese stronghold of Rabaul, making it a potential launch point for attacks on Australia. The Japanese recognized its significance and had fortified their positions with a network of bunkers, pillboxes, and barbed wire defenses. As the Allies planned their assault, they knew they were facing a formidable adversary. Chapter 3. The Battle Begins in late November 1942, the first Allied troops landed at Buna. The jungle terrain proved to be an immediate challenge. Thick vegetation and swamps slowed progress to a crawl. The Japanese defenders, deeply entrenched and determined, fought with unwavering resolve. The battle quickly escalated into a brutal and costly struggle as both sides clashed in the unforgiving tropical environment. Chapter 4. Frustration and Stalemate the Battle of Bunagona soon became mired in frustration. The Allies faced numerous obstacles, including rampant disease, exhaustion, and limited supplies. Malaria, dysentery, and other tropical ailments took a heavy toll on the troops. Meanwhile, the Japanese stubbornly defended their positions, inflicting significant casualties on the advancing Allies. The battle, far from a swift victory, evolved into a frustrating stalemate. Chapter 5 a new approach. Recognizing the need for a fresh strategy, the Allied command made critical changes. Some commanders were replaced, and additional troops and resources were deployed to the front lines. A joint Australian and American force adopted new tactics and began to make headway against the Japanese defenders. Artillery bombardments and carefully planned assaults started to wear down the enemy's resolve. Chapter 6. Bitter Fighting the Battle of Bunagona entered a phase of bitter fighting, characterized by intense combat in the dense jungle. Soldiers engaged in close-quarters combat, often resorting to hand-to-hand -to -hand fighting. Flamethrowers and heavy artillery were employed to dislodge Japanese positions. Amid the chaos and brutality, the soldiers faced not only the enemy but also the relentless challenges of the tropical environment. Chapter 7. Breakthrough by early 1943, the relentless efforts of the Allies began to pay off. They managed to break through the Japanese defensive lines, forcing the enemy to retreat from their entrenched positions. The battle had exacted a heavy toll on both sides, but the tide was unmistakably turning in favor of the Allies. The capture of key Japanese strongholds brought renewed hope. Chapter 8. The Final Assault in late January 1943, the Allied forces launched a final assault on the remaining Japanese positions at Gona. The battle was fierce and grueling, but the determination of the Allied troops prevailed. After weeks of intense combat, they managed to capture the Japanese stronghold, marking a turning point in the Battle of Bunagona. Chapter 9. Aftermath the Battle of Bunagona left an indelible mark on both the Allied and Japanese forces. It was a costly victory, with heavy casualties on both sides. However, it was a pivotal moment in the Pacific theater of World War II. The battle demonstrated that the Japanese could be defeated in jungle warfare, a vital lesson as the Allies continued to push toward Japan's home islands. The Bunagona campaign paved the way for further Allied advances in the Pacific, and signaled the gradual shift in momentum in favor of the Allies in their fight against the Japanese Empire.